coming to the altar. Yes, right. Right. Not just yes. this man God in his life. And not just the men of God, but the people of God. Yes. The people of God. Yes. And when all said and done, even though you know God's men are special, but we're all just the people of God. That's what we all are. Preachers or whatever, missionaries, evangelists, whatever, we're just God's people. And uh, and uh, purchase with the precious blood Amen. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, I'm glad, thank God today, that one day when this life's over, all of us can get in a better land and serve and worship our God perfectly Amen. forever and love each other. And this morning, I don't have any preachers text this morning, and uh, Brother Wenzel text and uh, text him back and forth to him. He texts something about being a preacher. And I said, uh, that's who you are. I want to be like you. He sent back a little crazy looking face, you know. I said, no, preacher, I'm serious. God's in them that have been true and faithful down through the years. And have preached that book seriously strictly and strongly and, and lie on line, precept on precept. That's the way I want to pattern my life. Amen. I don't want to have my pattern my life after one politician Amen. or one movie star. Amen. Old Charlie Daniels died this week and they told him about he's now going to heaven. He's got a golden heart. Well, I hope he's there, but I guess I question that. But I'm not pattern my life after Charlie Daniels or none of the rest of that. Amen. Amen. Not somebody that was uh, being full of wine in excess. But I'm going to pattern my life after somebody that was filled with the Holy Ghost of God. Amen. 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 And I appreciate God that let me meet this brother Joe, uh, what, 25 years ago, I guess, at least probably. He was just a young man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, be 25 years ago, probably, we become instant friends. And uh, I appreciate God letting him come. He was scheduled to come. And uh, we're not going to have certain night services, but uh, I appreciate him today. Especially, I thank you for taking and sharing the rules with him. We know who takes care of him and you know who does that. Brother so, Joe, you come up. Thank you, Pastor. You may take your seats. I want to say, first of all, this morning, that I'm so grateful for your kindness to us. Thank you for your faithful mission support and for the special offerings that you sent us along the way. And I'm grateful for the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. I thought I would have had uh, 14 or more meetings canceled, but I'm grateful that God has taken care of us. He's done a good job with that. Amen. Amen. I read in the Bible about a man who got quarantined. He was isolated. His name was Elijah. Yeah. And God sent him down to the brook. And that was the place there that God had planned for him. Right. And so he's learning while he in isolation, in lockdown. Yeah. He's learning to trust his God. Amen. 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 The Lord sent him bread yeah. and meat. Yeah. In the morning and in the evening. Yeah. He's in isolation. He's in lockdown. Yeah. He's quarantined. Yeah. He can't get out. Yeah. Yeah. But God yeah. is still on the throne. Yeah. 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 And while he's there, yeah. the brook runs dry. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me that you can be dead sinner, the will of God, and the brook can run dry. Yeah. 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 But God, God has uh, got another chapter in his isolation. He moves him from the brook that's run dry to the widow woman's house. Yes, it would be quite humiliating to be dependent upon a widow lady. Yes, sir. But 
And I'm telling you, it wasn't just the widow lady. Amen. It was the God of the widow. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we live in Christ sees death. And uh, I'm seeing in these days of crises a lot of compromise. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Someone said it this way. If you miss church long enough, you won't miss church. Hey, that's yeah, good. That's good. Right. That's good. Yeah. Hey. I, 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 I'm saying, uh, in the midst of all the crises, someone said to me, he said, don't you think it's a wrath of God? I said, no. I don't believe it's wrath of God, but I do believe it's a judgment. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And yeah. so uh, we're in these crises days. But there was a crisis back earlier in the book of Numbers. And uh, the man of God sends out some spies. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. There's 12 of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and only two of them. Back to the good. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 So we can't just see the virus. Can't just see all the lockdown. We've got to see the God that's in charge. Right. I'm saying, yeah. Amen. Hey, this hasn't taken God by surprise. He's still on the throne yes, and he's well able to meet that bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Blessed is a Christ sees in the life of Israel. And there was a giant. Lights. All they could see was a giant. Yeah. Yes, sir. But God said, a little boy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, he said, Is there not a cause? Yeah. And, and so he uh, he picked up five smooth stones from the brook. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to make the stones. <laughs> and the Bible said they were smooth. Who made them smooth? Yeah. 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 And he took uh, five smooth stones. And God brought a great victory. And Goliath was defeated. Yes. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we must get our eyes back on God. Amen. We cannot. Oh, my church. We cannot allow where we are oh, to dim our vision. Of who God is. Amen. Yes, He's the same yesterday, today, and that's today. right. He changeth not. Now some have said, This God is our God forever and ever. He'll be our guide. Even under death, He's our God. Yes, I'm grateful for technology. I I listen to one of my heroes again this past week. Uh, his name was Evangelist Lester Roy. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. I heard him preach that message in the new law. Hey. Uh, I, I, I love to hear him preach. But he he would uh, sing like this. One sat alone beside the highway begging his eyes were blind, the light he could not see. He clutched his old rags and shivered in the shadow. Then Jesus came and bade his darkness flee. When Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, all tears are wiped away. He takes the gloom hey. and fills the heart with glory. Amen. Yes, all is changed <laughs> when Jesus comes to stay. Amen. Hey. 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 Praise the Lord for full salvation. God still reigns upon the throne. And I know the blood still reaches deeper than the stain has gone. Amen. 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 I, I'm glad he be dead yet speaking. Yeah. 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 Life and yeah. Well, I want to be a blessing and help uh, asking the Lord to direct our attention to what he once said. 
don't know.
I give myself to thee the best I know how. I pray that you fill me to the overflow. And may Jesus Christ be glorified in our midst today. I ask you to bless the men of God that will stand this morning across this country. I pray that you might use them, Lord. May some soul come to know Jesus and to know life is life everlasting. I pray, Lord, that you might protect us. I plead your blood over us. Help us, Lord, to realize that you are our defense. And we're grateful for your protective care. Have your will and your way. Do what I cannot do. I thank you for all you will do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Your seats. I, 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 I want to be reminded this morning that worship is the expression of the soul's adoration. That's right. Amen. They bow the spirit, and they that worship them must worship in spirit Amen. and in that spirit. Amen. Right. Amen. And so real worship is the expression of the soul's adoration. <coughs> but then praise is the expression of the soul's thankfulness. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. Abundant blessings to us. Amen. Do not deserve it. Do not merit it. But thank God for the handful. Amen. Amen. Thankful this morning when I got up, I could walk, I could talk, I could see, I could hear, I listen, I could comprehend. Thank God for his faithful blessings to us. Yes, so amen. So what shall I render unto the Lord when I consider all his benefits to me? I could have been born in Africa. You could have been born in China. We could have been born in Siberia. But I'm saying, thank God for his abundance. Yes, sir. Amen. So praise is the expression of the soul's thankfulness. But prayer is the expression of the soul's dependence. Amen. Amen. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. I'm yeah. grateful for Amen. God who hears prayer and God who answers prayer. Amen. 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 But when we think of service, service is the expression of the soul's love for God. Hallelujah. Yes. And so could I remind us this morning that uh, we love him because he first loved us. Yeah, amen. amen. And so I'm interested in this verse 14. And it speaks of the incarnate Christ displaying his glory. Amen. I mean, he he, he always displays his grace. He always he expresses himself by grace and truth. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just grace. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not just truth. Right. It is grace and truth. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yeah. Look at Isaiah. Uh, he said, Chapter 42, he said that I, I am God, and there's none of us. Yeah. Right. And I say to you, Allah's not God. Right. Amen. Mohammed is not God. Amen. Buddha is not God. Amen. But Jesus is God. Amen. Amen. And so the glory was associated with his birth and all the future appearances of Christ. And so in the Gospel of John, the incarnate word is seen in all his glory. Yes, sir. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Yeah. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And so in John's gospel, the incarnate word is seen is seen in all his glory. I'm saved by the good grace of God yeah. over 60 years ago. Amen. Amen. I trust that Jesus has my Hell. Hell. First week of October this year will mark 
54 years when God said, I want you to be my mouthpiece. Now, notice this. Uh, the Son. 
John is more than the messenger. He's the message. He's the brightness of his glory. He's the express image of the person. And so John's account of the incarnation could be summed up in four words. The Word became flesh. The Word became flesh. The Lord Jesus tabernacled with man. Like in the Old Testament tabernacle, God's glory was resident in the tabernacle. But God's glory is resident in the person of his dear son. I say, to God be the glory. Great things he hath done. I understand this. The Lord Jesus tabernacled with man. And again, John could say that the glory of the only begotten, the one and only of the Father, was made visible. It was our Lord said, now, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Amen. And amen. And amen. I say uh, it's summed up in those four words. The Word became flesh. The tabernacle, listen, the tabernacle of God's glory was manifest. And so John could say that glory of the only begotten, the one and only of the Father, was made visible. It was the glory of his son. No one like him. No one, hey, no competition. Not more than one God. Just one God. And one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus. Now, at the moral glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glory shone in all that he did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The glory of God shone in all that he did. And it was displayed, here's how it was displayed, by grace and truth. That's right. Yes. It was Amen. displayed by grace and truth. And so the Lord Jesus was the embodiment of grace. And so uh, in the Gospels, grace is associated with the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That it speaks of his character. Titus 2 11 talks of the grace of God, and it's revealed on earth how? In the person of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, could I say, if he lives in you, you also ought to be displaying grace Amen. and Amen. 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 If he lives in you, we are to display it by grace and truth. And so, grace, grace did this. It brings salvation to all men. The lips of our Lord Jesus was filled with grace so that his speech was a gracious speech. Amen. Yeah. Well, let's dwell on that a little bit. Yeah. Now, there was an overflow, the superabundance of, uh, according to the grace of our God. And it was display, the display of grace in the touching the lives of others that led the, the crowd to say, he hath done all things well. Yeah. It is grace and truth. Yes, he's displaying grace and truth. And he's giving glory to the Father. And so there was an overflow. It was a display of as touching the lives of others. And so Peter said of him, uh, uh, he speaks of in 1 Peter chapter number uh, uh, 2, verse 21 through 2. He's speaking of that glory. And so the Lord Jesus never had to detract a word. Amen. 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 He's filled with grace and truth. Man. He never had to apologize for saying something wrong. Uh, that's right. Yeah. That's good. As Dr. Sack would say, he never said, oops. <laughs> I, I'm saying to you, he's full of grace. And truth. And if you lives in you, you ought to be displaying grace and truth. Amen. Yeah. And and uh, and and, uh, and uh, look at Colossians to speak to, of our our uh, speech being seasoned with salt. And and, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm reminded that this that the Lord Jesus was also not only full of grace but full of truth. That's why he could say, "I'm the truth." So. I am the way the truth. I am, I am the truth. God's word is truth. The Holy Spirit is a, a listen, is a spirit of truth. Amen. And the Lord Jesus Christ is truth and truth. Truth by its very nature is absolute. Absolutely. And truth by its nature is exclusive. Yes, sir. Yes. Truth. That's what we need today. Yes, truth. Yes, yes. By the way, when you see him in all to fellowship with Christ 
We've seen enough preachers. We've seen enough singers. We've seen enough performers. We need to see Jesus Christ. And if you see him, you'll be full of praise. I'm saying that it contains an idea of truthfulness which is seen in the character. And by the way, we're living in a day where there is supposed to have very little character. Right. Right. Amen. We're seeing Amen. in the streets of America a group of renegades Amen. that know nothing about the truth. Amen. They wasn't taught truth at home. Right. They wasn't taught to respect authority. Amen. They have no responsibility. Right. And so we have a generation of deadbeats today Amen. that needs to see grace and truth displayed in your Amen. life. Amen. Always with grace yes. and truth. And so, again, it contains the idea of the truthfulness which is seen in the character of Christ, in the conduct of Christ, in the conversation of Christ. We can have it hey. We observe it. Hey. We ponder it. The glory of God. And so the glory of this person was in full display. While he walked on earth. How's it this way? Grace and truth. Mm -hmm. Let me hasten to turn to chapter 2. And I, I'm not going to be able to read all the scripture, but you are familiar with this context. Verse number 11, this is the beginning of miracles. The Bible says, This beginning of miracles did Jesus in King Galilee and manifested forth. But he did, he manifested forth his glory. Amen. And his disciples believed on him. Who was it believing on him? The disciples. He, he did what? That Jesus Christ is full of grace and truth. Amen. Is manifested his glory. Yes, sir. I I've been in places where God manifested his glory. And it was, so, it was so thick that you could cut it with a knife. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about something pumped up. I, I'm not talking about something superficial. Right. I'm talking about something supernatural. When, when Jesus Christ, the Son of God, manifested his glory, his disciples believed on me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let me speak a word about the glory of his power. Oh, so much in this chapter. Uh, his works are his power manifest in his glory. We're, we're, brother, we met to, we met to worship. We're, we're here to see God. Yeah. Thank God. Good to see you. Good to be together. That's the house of God. And oh, how we need a breath of heaven. How we need a manifestation of the glory of God. Yeah, and amen. we're always saying, oh, what a Savior. Oh, what a God. It's God that works in a book of will and the will of his good pleasure. I see this is the first of seven miracles in John's Gospel. And uh, these were performed before the death of the cross. And these signs or miracles demonstrated the power, or listen, the power to transform. Oh, buddy. He, he transformed from the inside out. He does the work on the inside and is seen on the outside. Amen. He works in us, hallelujah, that he might work through us. Amen. He manifests his glory. Amen. Mm, my, my. As we're reminded of uh, the Bible said uh, that there was a marriage supper in Cain and Galilee. Jesus was invited. That's great. And his disciples. And uh, they ran short of wine. Mary said to the servants, whatsoever he said to you, do it. <coughs> the Lord Jesus turned the water into wine. He's beginning of miracles to Jesus in the king of Galilee. He manifested his glory. He manifested his glory by his power being the same. Oh, how much more we need to see a sermon than just to hear a sermon. Amen. 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 
this with joy. Uh, uh, he, he replaces, uh, he doesn't work on the inside. Amen. He replaces emptiness with joy. Yeah. I say, if you got really born again, go to buy your place. Yeah. But it ought to be like an artesian well. When God moves in, we manifest the glory of God by what God did on the inside that's now displayed on the outside. He replaces my emptiness with joy. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 They were sitting there, six water pots of stone. Yes, they were man-made pots. They were empty pots. And Jesus said to the servants, fill the water pots with water. They filled the water pots up to the brim. And Jesus did an inward work that would do the satisfaction. them to do anything, but just one thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fill the water pots. Mm. They filled the water pots, and he said, now, go out and bear this up, and there will be in the world. I would remind you this morning that God does not want you to perform miracles. He just wants you to fill the water pots. Amen. 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 Of that inward work, and he begins that inward work. 
I remember those days, Brother Pastor, before I got born again. I, I, I remember those days when it began to, to work in my life. I was a lost church member, but he's just playing grace and truth. And, and, and listen, he just played it again and again and again. But thanks be to God, on the 14th of June, 1960, I bowed my knee to a holy, righteous God and grace and truth moved in. And listen, I beheld his glory. Amen. Samaria, yeah. they could not help themselves. They was helpless and they were hopeless right. until they met the Master. Amen. And yeah. the Master displayed grace and truth. He transformed their lives and they're no longer what they once were. They're, they're now displaying grace and truth. Okay. I could mention I could mention about four others. I could talk about the <laughs> I, I, I could talk about uh, those who uh, were in John chapter 4, the nobleman's son. John chapter 5, the man with the infirmity by the pool of Bethesda. Yes. And uh, these are encounters with individuals in the word of God. And they, by the way, here's what they represent. They, they represent empty pots. Yes. They have no hope. They have no help. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And the reason this crowd in our streets are conducting themselves the way they are is because they're empty. Right. Amen. That's right. right. That's right. right. Yeah. And, and so I, I see this. Both of them face hopeless situations that their religious beliefs could not remedy. And their lives changed when they met the Master because He's full of them. Amen. Of grace and truth. In chapter number nine, there's a man born blind. And he's questioned as to why he was born blind. But the Lord Jesus gives him his sight back because he's full of grace and truth. Yeah. And he testifies. He said, A lot of things I don't know, but one thing I do know yeah. I was just blind. Amen. Amen. John chapter 11, there's a man who was sick, and then he died. He didn't need a doctor. He needed life. He's dead. And so he met the one who's full of grace and truth. And in John chapter 11, verse 4, he said, uh, this sickness is for the glory of God, for the glory of God. And so, in, in, in the case of Lazarus, it was uh, for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified in him. And then in all of these lives, the work was unseen. Yeah. Or this? Yeah. The work was unseen. The work was working on my heart a long time before I got saved. Yeah. Amen. It, it was a work that was unseen uh, from the outside. But there was wholeness, satisfaction, and joy when they met He who was full of grace and truth. Right. And He displayed His grace and truth. He displayed His glory by grace and truth. The service part of the miracle in John 2 was to do what the Lord said. They poured in water that had no power to cause it. Then He entered the by the way, don't you get discouraged. It is God that does the same. Yeah. It is you and I that are obligated to pour the water. Amen. To give the water. Amen. And every soul that is saved is a miracle of grace through faith. Yeah. So no one can boast all the glory. Amen. 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 The glory of his person, <laughs> the glory of his power. Hit the house parts. The glory of his passion. This aspect of his passion is introduced in the 12th chapter and the 13th chapter of the Gospel of John. In response to the request in John 12, 21, 
the Greeks said, we, we like to see Jesus. Up into this time, Jesus had said, my hour is not yet come. He said that in John 7, 8, he said, my time is not fully come. His prayer is for the glory of the Father's name. Amen. Amen. Way, it's not the glory of the church. Thank God there is glory in the church. But our glory is in the person Amen. of Christ. Amen. We're to see beyond the empty pots yeah. and see who, he who is full yeah. of grace yeah. and truth. Right. He's displayed his glory. And, and so the response from heaven is this, uh, is that this has and will happen. The glory. John <coughs> chapter 12, verse 24, the Bible says, says when we fall on the ground and die, the Bible alone. That died, bring forth much fruit. I, I, I'm reminded that it is the cross as well as the resurrection and ascension that are presented. Also, the subject of the Lord's Prayer, John 17, verse 1. The glory of the cross is first and foremost, is that the Father's will was accomplished. The Father's will was accomplished. He said in John 9, 4, I must put words of him that sent me while his day for the night comes when no man can. He, he came to do the Father's will. Amen. And beyond this, attributes were displayed. Mercy and truth met like, uh, and righteousness and peace kissed each other. And the love of the Father is fully seen at the cross. Hallelujah. Yeah. Greater love hath no man than this, that he hey. have his life for uh, his friend. Hey. Yeah. I, I remind you, the love of the Father is fully seen at the cross in that he gave his only son as a sacrifice to yeah. sin. Oh, what glory. Yeah. I remember Dr. Charles Blackwell wrote that song, Oh, what glory. Heard him singing in the chapel service again and again. I, I, I'm reminded of the glory. Hey, listen, I'm saying to you, heaven will be filled with the glory of God. And we'll not be sitting around and spitting with a club. We'll be praising him for all eternity. The land that was slain before the foundation of the world. And we'll be crying, worthy is the land. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Amen. Amen. It was a sacrificial. The cross is also the glory of the Lord Jesus in redemption. At the cross he was a sacrificial lamb. He was a substitutionary offering. He was a shepherd who died for the sake of the flock. And at the cross, he defeated the, uh, listen, Satan, the satanic power over death and freed us from the bondage of fear. Praise God. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and power and of sound mind. I'm saying he satisfied the just demands of God and paid the price in full. And there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. And I'm reminded of this, that the Father glorified the Son in the cross. And ever since, his people have given him glory because of his love for us. Amen. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the redemption we find in him through all eternity, worship and glory will be given to the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. Amen. The glory of his person. The glory. And he still has all his power. Amen. The glory of his power. Amen. The glory of his passion. And the glory of his present position. And let's look again in John's Gospel, chapter number 17. In John's Gospel, great, great uh, intercessory prayer of our Lord. Amen. Here's what he said in verse 1. He said, These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify the Son, that the Son also may glorify thee. For it's first by it. He said, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And so the glory of his present position. A, a further request of the Lord. Jesus, in regards to the glory of the cross, the request of our Lord was to do with restoration of his former glory. Restoration of his former glory that he had with the Father before the foundation. The restoration of, of that glory. And the, the request to do that is restoration of former glory in view of the, his finished work on Calvary. 
it is this to recognize this is positional glory. The positional glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We have not a high priest which cannot be touched with him as my infirmities. But with all us to do like as we are, yet without sin, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. He's given an exalted place. He, he's seated in the right hand, the place of authority. He, he's seated in that in a heavenly place. And so the Lord Jesus is now at the right hand of the majesty of all time. He's not, he's not wringing his hands or feeling his thumb. Right. He knows exactly. Amen. So quit just looking at the giants. Yeah, amen. Quit looking at, 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 at the pressure from the other side. Get your eyes upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at under Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. I'm saying he's over all things. He didn't have to check in with Chuck Schumer to see what was going on. That's right. Amen. Uh, he, he, he's over all things. Amen. He's in charge, not a political party. Amen. Not the Marxist communist. No, no. He's in charge. Amen. Amen. He's over all things. Amen. He's the head of the church. Amen. He has a more excellent name than the angels. He has a name that is above every name. He's a great high priest. He's a chief shepherd. And he's a heavenly bridegroom. Just any day now, he'll break through the blue.